Welcome colleagues, friends, family, and graduates. I'm Celia Marshak, Chair of the English Department, and I welcome you to the 2020 English Department Virtual Graduation Ceremony. Graduates, we know this is not the day that you or we imagined. We regret that we cannot shake your hands, meet your family and friends, and see your decorated mortar boards, or clap as you walk across the stage. I feel profound sadness as I speak these words to a camera and screen instead of to the SAC ballroom, which is normally full of students in caps and gowns, of raucous families, babies in tow, and of friends beaming with pride. After six years as a department chair, I mourn for the time we will not have today. Graduation is an occasion we look forward to all year. And this year, for the first time in our history, we cannot be together. The English department at Stony Brook University was founded in 1961. The original humanities building was one of the first buildings built on our campus. As a department, we have been through the Vietnam War, inflation, Operation Desert Storm, 9-11, and Hurricane Sandy. The good news is that this means that when you graduate today, you will join a tough-as-nails cohort of alumni, people who have triumphed over obstacles to rise to the top of a variety of professions. You may be our most resilient crop of alumni yet. No matter what the earlier cohorts went through, they didn't navigate coronavirus, stay-at-home orders, or a semester in which face-to-face -face classes changed over the oddest spring break in history to remote teaching and learning. We salute you for your achievements, and albeit virtual, today remains a day to celebrate your accomplishments, to thank your friends and family for their support, and to let you know that you will be missed. Graduates, you have been our students, some for four years and some for only a year or two. That phrase, our students, means more than you might think. It means, of course, that you've taken courses with us. It also means that we have graded your work. But this only touches the tip of what our relationship has been. You have been our students when we spent weekends reading your papers getting to know your voices and minds to the point that many of us could identify you from a paragraph alone. You have been our students when we sat with you as you struggled to balance school, jobs, and the demands of a world that doesn't care that you need to read 100 pages of Jane Eyre by Tuesday. But most importantly, you have been our students when you succeed, and today of all days when you graduate. We could not be more proud of you. It's also important to remind you that having been our students, you will always be our students. In the halls of the Humanities Building, and now over email and Zoom, we swap stories of what our students do after graduation. Tales of the student who finished a stint in the Peace Corps in Azerbaijan, or another who will enter Harvard Law School, or who is teaching at the Cinema School in the Bronx. You will doubtless be our most memorable class of graduates yet, and even years later, you will remain ours in a profound way. Please remember that. Before we get into the substance of today's program, I'd like to take a minute to thank the staff members who helped you and us get where we are today. Teresa Spadola, our graduate program coordinator, organized today's ceremony and is beloved by the graduate students who count on her support and advice. Margaret Hanley, our undergraduate program coordinator and now business manager, is the reason anyone receiving a BA today gets to graduate. And I'd like to take a final minute to acknowledge the absence of Liz Wren, who retired as our business manager in November 2019. Liz was, for many years, the reason we had an English department, and she is dearly missed even as we wish her well. And now, on with the convocation.